Hi learners, welcome to our learning math series. My name is Coach MJ and I'm from Tula and Tutor ko. Sa video natin ngayon, pag-aaralan natin kung ano ang writing ratios as fractions. Hmm, ano kaya to? Sige, simulan natin. Imagine this, magkakaroon ng isang malaking raffle sa buong batch nyo sa school. The raffle works like this. Isa-isa kayong makakakuha ng pulang bola. Sa loob ng pulang bola, maaari kayong makakuha ng dalawang klase ng ticket. Ang regular ticket at ang golden ticket. The regular ticket will win you some candy and chocolates. Simple price pero masaya pa rin. The golden ticket will win you some really cool vintage video game consoles. Siguradong enjoy tayo dyan. Mananalo kaya tayo? After the raffle, 97 won the chocolates and candies, while 3 were very lucky winners. Now, our question for today is, what is the ratio of raffle winners to the total number of participants? Now, in writing ratios as fractions, we show the relationship between an item and a larger group or category. So, how can we answer our question in fraction form? Here are the steps. Step 1, find the total number of items by adding everything that make it up. We know that there are 3 winners, so we put it here. We also know that there are 97 regular ticket holders. So, we put it here too. And then, we have to add them. And we get the total number of participants, which is 100. For step 2, we label the numerator and the denominator with the following. The numerator is the specific item you're looking for. Remember, our question earlier is to find the ratio of winners to the total number of participants. So the specific item that we are looking for is the winners. So we put here winners as the numerator. Next is the denominator or the total items. We have to write the total items and in this case, the total participants. And that will be our denominator. Finally, step 3, replace the names with their corresponding numbers. We know that there are 3 winners so we replace winners with 3. We know that there are 100 participants, so we replace total participants with 100. So kung babalikan natin yung question kanina, ang tamang sagot ay 3 over 100. Now, let's practice on other problems. You can pause this video and play it again to see the answers. The answer is... 4 over 11. Good job! You finished watching our video about writing ratios as fractions from the Learning Math series. May natutunan ka ba? Gusto mo pang mag-level up? Click that bell button below to subscribe so you'll get notified of new videos. Pwede mo ring puntahan ang YouTube channel namin. Happy learning!